everybody welcome to attack with Larry C this is your host Larry Christensen and I've been following the hot action from the Qatar Masters tournament and there's some very interesting attacking examples from from this fine tournament and one of them that caught my eye was a game between multi-time US women's champion Irina Crush White her opponent Johan Sebastian Christiansen Danish, young Danish, um, I am black. Namesake, uh, no relation, so far as I know. But uh, this is an interesting little attacking game with a, a it was, it could have been a very instructive tactical twist that I would like to share with the listeners. We're picking up the action here after Black's 20th move, Queen C8. Now, uh, that's a very ambitious move. What Black is trying to do, exploit White's slightly weakened king side, notably the uh, pawn sticking out on h3, perhaps to start to launch a sacrificial attack against the relatively undefended, lightly defended White king. A uh, good uh, in interesting move here would be rook c8 to anticipate a takes b5, putting the rook opposite the White queen. Um, in that case, it looks like White would have a slight advantage, but Chris Johnson optimistically plays Queen C8, looking definitely looking for toward a sack on H3. Let's see what happens. A takes B5. Now Bishop takes H3 would be a wild shot in the dark here. Uh, G takes H3. Queen takes H3. Queen F5. Uh, pretty much throws a wet blanket on Black's attacking ambitions. So he's got to play with some reserve here. So he plays bishop takes d4 to eliminate a uh, important well posted white piece. And of course if c takes b5 he can just go ahead and take on b5 with the initiative. So this move is part of um, Christiansen's plan. He wants to follow up with bishop f5, get some room for his pieces and drive the queen away from the action so to speak. So uh, certainly rook takes d5 would be a good, solid, intelligent move. C takes b5. White must have a um, solid little advantage here uh, with that weak pawn on d6 about to drop. Um, but she plays more ambitiously. E takes d4, and there's one flaw with this move, and that is it gives up control over the important f4 square. And which now Christiansen, Christiansen quickly uh, exploits, uh, driving the queen from, from c2. She doesn't really care about the rook on b1 so much. Uh, that's not a big factor here. It's basically uh, white always has d takes e5 in mind now. So if after the queen moves, bishop takes b1 is answer, answered handily by d takes e5. I think she should have gone queen a4 here. And after c takes b5, bishop takes b5. Looks like white has a solid advantage in all variations. But uh, Ms. Crush played queen b2 a little excessively passive. And now after knight g6, this black has uh, an emerging attacking idea based on knight f4. And now, of course, b takes c6 is handled easily by bishop takes, rook takes, and then queen takes c6. So now black has quite an arsenal loaded up for the king side. Let's see what happens. Crush plays b takes c6. Now bishop takes b1, rook takes b1, queen takes c6, bishop b5, white's a pawn up. White Black wants more than that, so he played knight f4. Let's go for it. And bishop f1, bishop and bishop f3, rather. Bishop f1 is a safe alternative.